would know, on December 17, 1903, Wilbur and Orville Wright made four brief flights at Kitty Hawk, North Carolina. The Wright brothers had just invented the first ever powered aircraft that flew four miles per hour. Ever since humans have evolved, they've invented different methods of transportation, with animals and the wheel being invented, to trains, cars, and hoverboards that don't hover. Tra traveling is very important because not only does it take you from point A to point B, but it also keeps you healthy in a way. And it also helps the world be more diverse. And that's why I'm here to talk to you about. Because I've been to many countries in my lifetime before. I've, I've been to some of the countries that I'm naming on this slide right here. And one thing I've learned from these countries is that people are diverse in a way. They're different from where we live right now in America. And my home country is Libya. So the first thing I'm going to be talking about is the mental benefits of traveling. I'm talking about your brain. So I want you all to picture this. You're walking down the same street. You're meeting the same people. You're going the same places. And it's every day from kids going to school to adults working at whatever work they work at. But travel can help you burst your bubble. It's called your comfort zone. It will help you go around the world, meet new people, go to different places. Try new cultures, different environments, and you will help the world, and you will help and understand the world in a more diverse perspective. Travel not only helps you meet new things, but it'll also help you try extreme problems that you never knew you could solve, or maybe try new exotic foods or items that you never knew you liked before, or you just hated in your life. Not only does travel make you happy, but uh, but you can keep those happy memories. As psychologically. Happy memories are like treasures and they will stay in your mind for a few years later or even when you're old. It's better for you to spend your money on places and memories rather than on materials. And probably most of you would probably want to remember going to Hawaii and having fun at the beach rather than going to Walmart and buying some pencils and notepads. Not only does travel boost you mentally, but it also boosts you physically. If you travel enough, it'll actually decrease your chance of heart disease. I know some of you thinking, some of you are probably thinking, how is that possible? It's just going on an airplane to a bunch of different vacations. Well, actually, travel, will, tr as I said before, travel keeps you happy, and that, ha and those happy emotions trigger regular blood flow regulation, heartbeat regulation, and other blood, re blood related blood-related health issues. Not only does it boost you, boost you with your blood, but it also boosts you with your immune system. As you would go to foreign places, you'd see different, you'd see different bacteria and foreign viruses, and that will keep your body up to date, and it will help you produce more antibodies to fight off the stuff. As for your cardiovascular health, well, travel can, as I said before, travel can regulate your blood area, as according to ncbi.gov. And also, as if that's not enough information for you, travel also decre decreases your chances of being overweight and obese, as this stated in UKHealthLines.org. Tackling obesity on the go. This has helped to reduce chances of cardiovascular disease, heart attacks, cancer, type 2 diabetes, and other mental and physical health diseases. I can't wait for whichever kind of new transportation method that comes around. But what most most important is the traveling itself. Travel can help the world more diverse, and it'll help you. And it'll help you stay up to date at what the world really is like at a full view perspective. Thank you, and have a great day.